When it comes to browsers on Android, we all know that the default is Chrome and that's what most of us use, right? But did you know that there are a lot of different kind of browsers with some very cool features that you could try at times? Well, that's what this video is going to be about. This is Abhijit Mukherjee from Guiding Tech. Let's get started. Let's start with Opera Touch. There is a new browser from Opera which was released quite recently and as the name indicates it's for touch use and primarily for single handed use. It has a shiny new interface and the browser strictly means business. Why? Well as soon as you open the app the cursor is on the address bar with options for voice search and image search at an easily accessible location. Opera Touch introduces a fresh new look by putting it at the bottom of the screen where your fingers can quickly find it. As you scroll down, a button for opening new tab presents itself at the bottom. The highlight of the app though is a feature called Flow. This is a feature which lets you transfer your open websites from the Opera browser on your desktop to your Android by scanning a QR code. Well, quite nifty I must say. The browser also supports ad blocker and crypto mining blocker. All in all, certainly a new kid on the block that's worth trying. If you are concerned about your privacy while browsing the internet, then this new browser from Firefox, which is called Firefox Focus, is gonna be your new best friend. Because as the name indicates, focus means that it wants you to browse only on a single tab. That's right. You can browse one website at a time and it blocks all the scripts, even the analytics scripts for that matter. It's hell bent on making your browsing session absolutely private. Next up is Flings, which you can call a floating browser. It helps you load articles and links in the background and puts a floating icon on top of your home screen. For example, let's say you're reading your Twitter feed and you wish to open an article. Simply click on it and the browser will open a floating tab to load the page while you're still on Twitter scrolling through the feed. Once the page loads, you can read the article and you still don't need to close the Twitter app. There's a quick read mode that gets rid of ads and loads only the relevant content, saving you time and data. So all in all, Flinks makes multitasking effortless by allowing you to open all kinds of links while not having to quit the current app. Next up is Aloha Browser. Yes, quite a unique name and some unique features as well. Now this browser comes with a built-in VPN, which means you can just set a VPN after opening it and browse through the content. It also has a download manager which lets you easily download files of the internet and view them in the browser. There's also an ad blocker, but finally and most importantly, this browser has a built-in VR player. That's right, you can watch those VR videos for which you have to use the Google Cardboard app. Well, not anymore. You can do this right inside this browser. Continuing with unique browsers, there is another one in the fray that's called the Cake Web Browser. This is another interesting browser which will come in really handy when you are searching for something on the web. For instance, when you go to Google and you search for something, you see all those results on the first page, right? Now the Cake Web browser automatically loads the first five to six results and just lets you swipe through the results like you're reading a magazine. Cool, isn't it? What's more, you can set your own search engine, customize the image and video search and some other neat features. All you need to do is toggle the sources off and to do so tap on the three dot menu at the top right corner and hit the first option. All in all a pretty cool browser especially if you search a lot uh, you can use this browser specifically for that purpose. Last but not wait a minute this is actually the least in terms of memory size. It's called wire browser and it weighs just less than an MB and it's a pretty feature rich browser it has a lot of customization options, a built-in translation, desktop mode, all this under 1 MB and that is the USP of this browser. So if you hate the browser occupying a lot of memory, go with Wire Browser. So will you continue to stick to Chrome or are you planning to give one of these browsers a shot? Well, let us know which one you tried and which one you liked. We'll wait for your comments. Do subscribe to Guiding Tech if you haven't already. Give a thumbs up to this video if you like the content and I'll see you in the next one fellas. Bye-bye.